The Dina just say, Anya, Anya. Oh, one Anya, Anya school. Anya, Anya. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Princess Vanigo. We're talking Dina Equipment, Fantastic Favor, Summer, Aku, and the likes. So, guys, let's start this J Sweet editorial. So, yesterday I made a video telling you guys that editorial came to tell us ways to be poor. Now she has come to tell us ways to be rich. I'm gonna be dropping that video right here for you guys. Tell me if you agree with her or not, if these are ways to be rich all right let's take that video and i'll be back now if you want to get rich like super super duper rich watch the video to the very end okay and also follow this page see share this video share this information don't be stingy about it so that a lot of people will know a lot of people want to get rich but they don't know how one of the ways to even do it and i'm ready to share six ways to be rich so you want to share it okay number one do not watch your tv all day long it's just like the previous video that i did do not watch your video all day long all right stand up and do something number two have a hobby have a talent have something that you either are blessed from god or you went to go and learn okay and work literally number three get some passive income do not only depend on salary get some passive income you know here and there that's another way to be rich because you can never tell which one is going to make you a super villain here and number four stand up don't sit down on that couch don't lie down on that bed stand up now stand up and walk my friend stand up and look for what i can do Okay, don't be lazy about. I know the government is so hard, so difficult. Transportation is just something else. But stand up, stand up, and go walk. All right, don't sit down in your comfort zone. That's number four. Number five. See, do not wait for magic because there's nothing like magic. For those of us who are church goers, goes to church, pray. Yes, it's good. But see, they say prayer without work is dead. So when you pray, you stand up, you walk. Do not expect magic because there is no magic anywhere. Right? Pray for things that you know that you can achieve all right <laughs> when you walk that's when you know that your prayer is already answered all right there's no magic anywhere and number six which is the last one stop blaming your parents stop blaming your mama stop blaming your papa stop blaming the person that all right all right all right all right we hear you girl yes so editor is speaking from experience obviously because we can see what she has achieved for herself and you know big ups to her in that she's trying to go on instagram page so you guys should feel free to go and follow her on instagram Yes. Anyway, guys, let's jump into Dina Equeme. So Dina Equeme is in a bar. Okay, we don't know if she's out of deal, but at least the vlog we watched, she told us she was going to her bar to her mom in law's place, like her husband's family place, basically. And she saw her brother, her dad, and whatnot. CM, I enjoy vlogging, and people like Dina make me remember why I wanted to, you know, also started adding vlog to my channel when i started in my early days okay like the fact that you can just be you know real and raw sometimes i'm not saying when real and raw you come and narrate all your family's problem or all your family's history or your past history no the fact that you can just show things like she was in a bar and they're just showing us you know the sight and sound of you know the area and you know telling us what is now you know 113 era and whatnot those kind of real reality are showing the realness of your environment i like that okay and i am still vlogging guys so please subscribe to my vlog channel princess banigo yes i am still vlogging and i'm going to be dropping some banging vlog real as vlog uh, yes real as vlog to the real s not me coming to narrate on my past or yeah, my future but i'm going to be showing you guys south and side sights and sound then i go out like that anyway so diana was telling us about our children's school and she said she wants her kids to interact so that was when she mentioned that i and i that she doesn't mind if that is just what they are doing there she just wants her kids to be in the midst of other children and interact now the thing is people are already saying oh is that what diana is supposed to be doing is she just supposed to look for a proper school therapy for a child you know you guys should you guys know she talked about something therapy the other time i didn't bother you know go in going into all that i didn't make that video but this is what i think we don't know diana's plan and sometimes eh, we the viewers we are too valid we don't know diana's plan we don't know what she wants to do we don't know if diana is going back we don't know if this come that she came <laughs> it's for good all right so me i feel like you guys should watch and see how this whole thing unfolds right so she said she found a place where they were doing summer camp or whatnot and they said 45 000. so me i was waiting to see if the 45k was for one child or for the three kids so somebody asked diana in the comment section that 45k is it for all the children or one child diana replied one child 45k but diana now nah, nah, big babe now nah, so she can afford it 
she didn't bother telling us more about that but yes Dinah has finally joined you know the mother's uh, guild of the uh, anglican church no mama how do you call it in catholic i know the catholics they do something like that so the anglicans apparently they do that if you're interested please feel free to go to Dinah's channel to catch up with all of this if you want or crew anyway anyway so summer Ako came to tell us that how we met so when she made the video of how we met everybody i think literally last i saw that video was at eighty thousand plus everybody rushed there they wanted to go and see how some Aku met man and i was saying that some of you like man why did everybody rush down there now summer has made another video where the man is telling us about his early days at the point he was even shedding a tear or two you know got teary there and when i saw the view last the view has not entered anywhere so the same people who wanted to hear of how we met make can go watch that video mm, go and watch it because i found that video very interesting that man mr balogun carrying us on his early days and now nigeria was i was a bad boy and whatnot i enjoyed the video and i think you just might anyway let's jump into the next years so let's talk everything uche utom right now so we know that uche is the latest big babe on the street of youtube she's in school yes she's in the university even though we already know okay because we noticed her absence even the absence or not uche utom not the too serious before i nearly don't talk about uche finally explained why she has been absent from youtube street mm. according to uche she wanted to focus on you know school and she wanted her gpa to be very very high and good and that was why she wasn't uploading and her intention wasn't to even take this long break off but apparently it just happened and she's been away for almost seven months and she's back and i don't know which kind of back which is back or but she narrated all that for us on her channel showed us her friend and was telling us how she's not ready for man she's not ready for boyfriend and i think that's a good thing she said but she's ready for husband and i also think that's a good thing yes yeah, because the goal at this age is not to come and be following one boyfriend up and down follow a man that as they finish school they go pay before you finish self you don't go pay you understand as they graduate you know life everything all that if they plan to jack by if you're not there Nigeria, that kind of thing so i like a lady who knows what she wants and she's going for it with her full chest and big ups to a former madam turned her auntie yes nello okay, okay big ups to nello for grooming a very good girl and big ups to uche for being a child that listened because there's one thing to groom a child when you groom the child and the child does not hear there's nothing you can do so nello actually groomed her but she herself also took the things that nello was taught teaching her inculcated it into her life and we can see where she is right now she's in school and she's thriving and she has a youtube channel that can be paying her in millions okay once she starts uploading very well and now she's pursuing her career so i'm really really proud of how far uche has come it was not the uche we saw you know three years ago this is a grown woman who is in her prime and who knows what she wants for her life i mean bosses like nello don't come often and then helps like uche turned sister don't come often anyway guys let's enter into this video that i saw okay about this lady that was coming to tell us mm, about women so she, she was saying that you know if you do anything sexual with a man and the man stops taking your call that you shouldn't get angry you shouldn't feel bad that if the man is not taking your call just up and leave stand up and leave that just up and leave don't even worry yourself he's not picking your call anymore just move on after all you come the man said come i say ha ah, is that it anyway let's go watch the video and i'll be back so you met this guy and before you know it one thing led to the other you guys had a good time yeah and ever since then you've been feeling some kind of way you call him he takes time to peek in your head as an overthinker you're thinking mm, is it because i slept with him is it because we had sex please i want to ask you something did you come no wait when you had that sex with that guy did you come is a win-win if you have sex with somebody and you come that is why it's very important 
if you have sex it's important that you must come because when you come is a win-win if he doesn't pick your call anymore you pack up your pieces and move on life happens nobody lose you come he came then come and go no problem till i see you again i'm your girl and i am successful so guys you have that right there now me i don't agree and this is why this is not me coming to be a saint or anything here but it doesn't make it very okay for you to just do anything with anybody and you just have that mentality that okay because i come because i come so if the guy is not he's not forthcoming anymore everybody don't come make everybody go they come they go you know you should be careful with the people you are doing things with you know uh -huh. so that you will not come and you'll be regretting why you come that come <laughs> anyway anyway i understand that point about not dwelling you know because of what has happened and beating yourself around but also that is why you should be careful the kind of people you go and do it with as a matter of fact as a woman you don't owe any man your body especially the one that is not married to you you have every right to say no i no go do and if he doesn't want to stay with you let him go i think so okay anyway guys this is just what i think about that but feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section if you say bani go no i don't agree with you you have to knock the man okay even if he even if he has not marrying you or not so for long you guys are dating you have to knock i don't think that though i think even if he really really likes you if you tell him this is what you want some men might you know understand except if you are the one willing to just do it you know that is why you should know we are doing it with so that you will not come and come they go anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video if you watch up to this point i enjoyed bringing all this gist to you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now